Howdy folks, welcome back to the Metal Mill 52 workshop and the project I worked on this week is the tailstock for the spiraling head. As you can see I've got it set up, kind of mocked up on a bar here, a 5 8 inch steel bar just to kind of show you what the arrangement would look like. Obviously this would sit inside the top of the rotating base, rotating part of the corn and you could use this to align it for the the grinding wheel however you wanted. So if you'll stick with me, uh, what I've made today, uh, or what I've, the, the segments of the video that you'll see in a few minutes if you stick with, and this will be a short one, it'd just be the setup for boring the two holes, the 5 8 inch hole in the base, 3 8 inch hole in the top, and then what I did, I split it here the conventional way. I made a little bolt, a little lock bolt, and then I've got the small ball handle on there, and I did drill and tap 1032 at the top for to hold the center in, inside. This is just an old center I had that was the right size. And then the very final segment you'll see making the guide bars. I hadn't covered that before. But um, these things, what I did was I silver soldered this one together. It has a little L shape in it. And this one was just a simple matter of milling and drilling out and sanding it down and tapping, drilling and tapping. I tapped 1032 here. So that's it, and um, the, the, just stay tuned for the, the following segments, and please let me know how you like it. I kind of wanted to get some feedback on this style, trying to be a little bit more brief with my videos, and kind of start with the end in mind, and then show you the machining steps that I used to, got there, to get there. So thanks again, everybody. I really appreciate all the comments, and welcome again to the new subscribers. We're so glad to have you along with us, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hey everybody, just wanted to show, I'm working on the tailstock for the tool holders, the spe specifically the spiring, spiraling tool holder. This looks terrible, but it's, it's drenched in the uh, tap paste stuff that I like to use. I just finished boring the holes out here, the 5 8 and the, the large part, and then 3 8 for the top part. And I just want to show the setup. It, it took me a while to figure out a good way to set this thing up, but as you can see, I've got it on a piece of it of aluminum extrusion. It's held securely in the vise. It's a curt vise. And what I did was I, I used some aluminum dowel rods and just jammed them in there and I, I smacked them with a screwdriver and a dead blow hammer till the whole thing was basically rigidly locked in. So it works. Worked so far. So the next thing all I got to do is I got to drill and tap the 1032 hole in the top and then drill the uh, 3 16 hole and mill a flat on the bottom for the clamp bolt. Because I think I'm going to go ahead and use the conventional uh, split, slit, and clamp bolt method. Okay folks, nothing terribly exciting here, but I've drilled and tapped the top part, and I'm, making, I'm milling the a little on 3, three sixteenths of an inch flat for the bolt hole to go. So that's how deep that is. It didn't really say in the book, so I just figured 3 16s would be more than more than enough. And let's see, here's the drilled and tap part. You can probably see in there, just barely. So now I'm done with that. Take it out and got to split it. And here we are milling the slit. Got it in back gear. As you can see, it's going pretty slowly. And I've put the tap paste on there. It really does work well for cutting the cast iron like this. Just gonna center this up and then crank it in and it'll be all slit. And the uh, part will basically be done with the machining. And I'll make, tomorrow I can make a bolt with a little D flat end. That'll be the clamping bolt. And I just clean it all up and this part will be done. And one little detail for the spiraling head is the little 3 16 inch by half inch um, guide bars and what I've done I'm out here outside I just uh, silver soldered the end piece on the book doesn't really say exactly how to accomplish this but I'm real confident that silver solder solder will be very strong so I'm letting it cool now I'll pickle it let it cool uh, let it cool first then pickle it and then sand belt sand it and then I can machine the slot meanwhile while this is cooling I can go inside and machine the slot on the other one. And here's a little snippet of one of the guide bars. I've drilled a couple of holes at the ends 
to mark the locations, you know, the endpoints, and I've just milled out you know, using a two um, two flute end mill or, or AKA a slot drill. I've already drilled and tapped 1032 here, and as you can see, I've marked out a little radius so that I can um, grind that round for this piece. This is the uh, straight one, obviously. Here's the L-shaped one that I just finished silver soldering. I'll mill that slot out, drill the end piece. Oh, sorry, drill the end pieces out of it or the locations, and then uh, mill it out as well. And then I can finish sand it and polish it up. Okay, folks, sorry about the noise in the background. If you can hear it, the neighbor is having a party or something. They have a band over there. It's quite loud. It's not usually like this in our neighborhood, but I don't know what the deal is. But So, again, I apologize for the noise. But here's the finished uh, guide brackets for the spiraling head. They were pretty simple to make. This is the one that I silver soldered together, and it's the stop bracket. Cleaned it up in the belt sander a little bit. It could be a little bit more perfect, but anyway... And this one I realized that um, I made this exactly three inches long and it's supposed to be three and a quarter so I may have to make another one. Luckily I have a little bit of this stock. This is half inch wide by three sixteenths inch thick cold rolled steel and I had bought a piece of this to use for the guide rails of my Allen Mogul locomotive so luckily I have about a four or five inch piece left after making these two things. So if I need to make a longer one I will. I really won't know that until I get the ER20 um, straight 5 8 inch shaft piece that I ordered from eBay. It's coming from China. It should be here in a couple days, so then I'll know if I need a longer. Of course, because that's different from the um, tool holder for the spiraling thing, I'm going to have to make some custom attachments to go with it for the back side of it for the hobs and the hob connections and things like that. But anyway, um, that's, that's all fun you know and I, I, I'm, I have a lot of flexibility using the ER collets instead of having to make different spindles for different purposes so I'm very happy to get this done so this will be the last little segment here in this um, segment about the tailstock for the spiraling head um, next things to look forward to I do have my steel stock for the spindle and for the 5c collet chuck or tool holder. There's the 5C tool holder right there. I've been just playing around with different holding for it. You know, how can I use it? But that's that's off in the distance. The very next thing I'm going to work on is I'm going to work on the actual uh, conventional tool holder. And I'm, I'm going to follow the Maddie's workshop. If I've mentioned him before. If you haven't seen it, uh, M-A-T-T-Y apostrophe S, Maddie's workshop. He does a fantastic job. He's built one of these, and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do mine a lot like he did his. I think the old, the biggest difference will be that I'll use uh, brass split cotters instead of splitting the casting and putting uh, bolts in. So I'll take some snippets. I'm trying to be more brief because I've noticed that people only watch about seven minutes or so on average. So I'll try to be more brief with with these. And as I said, this will be the last segment for the the tool holder. I'll do a quick intro and then the the machining steps and let me know how you like this new format. I'm kind of I'm thinking if I was a viewer, I'd, it's nice to see what the end product is and you know kind of start with the end in mind. And uh, so if you like the format, please let me know. If you have questions, let me know. I really appreciate the repartee. Thanks everybody. I'll keep you posted.